God bless you, brothers and sisters. Um, I want to come to share a dream with you the Lord gave me yesterday. Um, Y'all, in this dream, I saw a wedding taking place. And this hasn't been the first wedding. I haven't had other dreams lately about weddings. Um, like a few of them, actually, uh, that I haven't even shared. Um but this one in particular was very, very um, symbolic, very symbolic. And, and I know the Lord was speaking to me through this dream and speaking to all of us and as the church, as a, the bride of Christ. And um, I want to share with you. So in this dream, uh, there was a wedding taking place and everybody in this wedding were dressed real nice they were dressed for the occasion they were dressed nicely like the 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 guests all the guests all the people that were seated to 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 be there and to watch the wedding take place the people that were in this wedding i'm talking about the the bridesmaids and and and, and the children walking down the aisle, everyone in this wedding were dressed up nicely. It was a formal gathering. Amen. And I noticed that in the wedding, um, like the bridesmaids and the, and the children, they were all dressed in white. I'm talking about bright white. For whatever reason, this white didn't look like a normal white you know, formal wear. It, it didn't look like regular white um, dresses and, and, and stuff like that. It, it was bright. It looked it more um, heavenly. And so I'm, I'm seeing all of these people in this wedding, in this wedding and, and in this ceremony. And then all of a sudden the scene switches to the bride and the bride was not dressed for the occasion. The bride had on regular clothes. She did not have on a wedding gown. She was not ready. She was not prepared, y'all. And the funny thing is, she she didn't realize that what she had on was not fit for the occasion. She did not realize that she was not ready. She thought that what she had on was good enough. And y'all, the dream ended after that. And immediately the Lord led me to Revelation 19, starting at verse 7. It says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And y'all, when when he when he led me to this, it was it was clear. It was clear from the moment I woke up from this dream. It was clear when he led me to the scripture. And y'all, I just believe that he's showing me that the bride hath not made herself ready. She is not ready. I know many of us are ready to go home. There are many brothers and sisters, many believers all around this world, and they are, they feel as though they are ready to go home and be with the Lord. They feel as though they are uh, ready to become one with the bridegroom, and yet they are not even arrayed in the fine linen that he requires. They are not arrayed in that fine clean and white linen that linen represents the righteousness of saints the righteousness of saints amen 
And we need to make sure, y'all, that we have the righteousness of Jesus Christ by faith. We need to make sure that our house is in order, our spiritual house, our spiritual temple, y'all. Let us examine ourselves. Excuse me if I sound a, a little stuffy, y'all. I'm, I got some stuff going on, some sinus stuff. I don't know what it is, but y'all, we need to be examining ourselves that we are in the faith because many of us are ready and we feel we feel like we're ready. Let me just stop saying ready because we're not ready. The bride of Christ is not ready. That dream was clear as day. The bride is not ready. We need to make sure that we are prepared. We need to make ourselves ready by putting on the righteousness of Jesus Christ, putting on his garment, his righteousness by faith. He has given us, y'all, the righteousness, his righteousness, not our own righteousness, because our own righteousness are like filthy rags before God. We cannot do anything to win or earn salvation. It is him and him alone. And we receive what he has done for us by faith, y'all. And not only that, when we receive that, we must walk in that. We must walk in the newness of life. We must learn how to walk in the spirit. We must learn how to bear fruit, the, the fruit of righteousness, love, joy, peace, gentleness, kindness, um, long-suffering, self-control, goodness, faith. We must learn to bear fruit. Amen. He said, if any man abide in me, he will bear much fruit. We must abide in the vine so that we can bear fruit, y'all. We must make sure that we have the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We must make sure that we are ready. It is not, it is not good enough anymore to, to say that, oh, you know, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready for this and that. And, and, and God is saying, hey, you're not ready yet. As much as you want to go home and as much as I want you to be here, you're not ready yet. And that is why the Lord has not come yet. He said that he is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but he is long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. So y'all, I believe this is a warning for all of us to check ourselves, to examine ourselves. To spend time with the Lord asking him, Lord, search my heart. Search me, O Lord, and know my ways. Know me. Show me if there is any error, any wickedness, any deception, any darkness, any rebellion, any disobedience, anything whatsoever that is stored up in my heart, hiding away that I do not know of. So that I can be clean. Just having that fine linen so that I can be clean and white. Having the righteousness of the saints. So y'all, you know, we must, you know, we can't go back to sin. Let us walk in the spirit so that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. This flesh wants what it wants. This flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Amen. The spirit is always willing to seek God. The spirit is always willing to pray and to worship and to fast. But the flesh wants to, to gratify its own lust, its own desires that is not healthy for our spirit, man. Amen. So y'all, please let us let us examine ourselves today so that we can truly, truly be ready because you know, when I received this dream and I told my husband about it, we were really disappointed because we feel like, you know, we're ready, Lord. We're ready to be caught up with you. And, you know, after receiving this dream, y'all, he's showing us that we're not truly ready. The bride collectively as a whole, the church, you know, we are all one in the body of Christ. Amen. So he is talking about the church, the body of Christ, the bride. We are not ready. We have not made ourselves ready. So this is a warning, y'all, to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come out of apostasy. 
Come out of rebellion. Come out of compromising. Come out of lukewarmness. Come out of backsliddenness. And return unto the Lord. Go back to those first works because we, many of us, have left our first love. And we need to get back to the point of falling in love with Christ because we are going to become one with him as our husband, as our bridegroom. Amen. So if we are not loving Christ more than anything in this world, more than your own, have, more than your own earthly spouse, more than your children, more than your job, more than your car, more than your businesses, more than anything. If we are not loving him more than anything in this world, y'all. We are storing up idols in our heart and we will not be able to be caught up with him and be in heaven. So I love y'all and I bless y'all and I pray that this not only uh, um, makes you alert and, and, and gives you insight and revelation and, 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 and awakens you. But I also pray that it brings correction to all of us. That it brings correction. It brings um, a fervency and a desperation, y'all. Let's get back to that place of crying out to God. That place of laboring in the spirit, laboring in prayer, seeking God for real. Because it's harder nowadays to seek God. It's so much warfare. It's so much distractions. It's so much heaviness in the spirit, y'all. And we need to learn how to press through all of that. To get to that secret place in God. Amen. So I love y'all. And I pray that this blessed y'all. In Jesus name. Let us all be ready. Let us make ourselves ready y'all. In Jesus name. Amen.